Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make a snake game in my Tap Inventor. So, which we which we were uh, doing in the Nokia thirty three ten. So, uh, yeah, here you can use an image or a ball. So you can see here if you will have to go to drawing and animation, and you you get this canvas option. And here you can see keep the width as well as the height as full parent. Yeah. Okay. And now here this this is this component called ball. Okay. So here uh, you can use an image sprite instead of this. But here I'll be using ball. Okay, so this one we can rename it as snake. Okay. So this will be the snake ball. Okay. You can you know um yeah. You can also change the uh you know color. So here I'll keep the paint color as cyan. Okay. Or you can also okay fine. Let's let's keep it as cyan itself. And you need another ball. So this will be our football. Okay. So it is a food. So that's it. Okay. Now here we need to put four buttons. Uh, but before that you can see this table arrangement. Drag and drop it over here. Okay. And now uh. You need to put the button. Okay, you need to put four buttons to move it uh, up, down, right, and left. Here. Okay, so I just need the width. Sorry, it's not the button. Okay, so button width should be automatic, but this uh, table arrangement width I'll keep it as. Will parent over here. All right. So now we need to put another button. Oh, why isn't it working? Okay. So I'll just do this. Yes, I forgot to do something. You can see this columns. We'll have to make it three. Okay. And uh, even the rows, it should be three. Like this, okay. So, oh, okay. So let's try this. Yeah. So you can see it should be three. Okay, and here um. Yeah, this should be over here, and this should be over here, and you need to put another button, which should be over here. And you need to put another button which should be at the bottom. Okay, so this is up, down, right, and left. Okay, I'll just rename them and come back. So as I'm back, I just have renamed them and uh, I have kept the width as well parent. I don't know why it's it's not taking the width as well parent. I think so when we download it, then it will uh, resize. Okay, so here let's keep it. Okay, over here or let's keep it. Somewhere over here. Okay. Okay. So uh, we have done this much, and this is the first game which we are making in MIT App Inventor. So now let's, if you want, you can put these scores and stuff. It's your wish, actually. So here, let's put the scores. Okay. Here. Oh, oh. Okay. It should not be over here. It should be over here. And uh, sorry, you need a horizontal arrangement actually. First, we'll put it over here and then we will bring it. Put this label inside. Take another label and put it inside. Like this. So, I'll tell you what you have to name them. So, guys, I, uh, you have to name the second label. Rename that as score and the text should be zero. And the first label, don't rename it anything. And just keep it as score. Okay. And this. Okay. So, yeah, I think we are done with the designing. Let's do the code. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So, initialize global. Uh, you need to do a variable over here. So, it should be score as the variable. And uh, the text should be nothing. That's it. Okay. Now, uh, what you have to do is um, okay. So initialize global uh, score to nothing, and now let's do the up button first. 
okay so when up button click set uh, the snake um should not this yeah yeah you can see heading and duplicate this here we'll have to make it as speed so next what you have to do is you can see over here snake heading should be 90 and speed should be 5 okay so and guys just like that uh when left button dot click snake speed should be 5 and heading should be 180 and the right button uh is should be uh, the speed should be 5 and the heading should be 0 okay because if I do and them and stop it will take too much time so I'll just tell you it's very simple uh, just you can just copy this duplicate this and here uh, you can just change this and uh, you can just uh, okay when right button dot click it should be 5 uh, the speed should be 5 and heading should be 0 and when the down button click it should be uh, the speed should be 5 and the heading should be uh, minus 90 okay so we had already uh, done these two isn't it up uh, click it should be 5 and the heading should be 90 okay and when the snake ball co collide with means yeah you, you the first option what you get if you click on that ball is collide with uh, and you need you need to go with this if then block which you get it in the control section okay so here you get it in the control section you can see here you can see uh, if then block you you'll have to take that and here is equals to you get it in the logic yeah this one logic get other okay just keep your cursor on this and put it over here is equals to food means the football okay so i just renamed it as food again okay i mean like yeah i just renamed it set global score which is the variable if you just uh, keep your cursor on that you can see set and get you need to go with set okay the global score too yeah you get this plus option in the math here you can see just connect it over here global score get global score means yeah you can just duplicate it and here if you go to the drop, drop down option you get this global score uh, plus one okay and uh, you, you get it in the math the first one you just put it over here plus one which is equals to uh yeah like that okay and text box one okay sorry it's it's not text box guys uh yep just ignore this this is the uh, the score okay the score label dot text okay just ignore this uh, get global score just duplicate it and connect it over here okay and the football okay food ball x okay to set food dot x to random integer from 10 to 350 you get this in the same math section you just scroll down a bit you can see oh yeah you can just connect it over here random integer from this is 1 to 100 you just change it from 10 to 350 same thing you can just duplicate it and here uh, from x it should be y okay same thing you can duplicate it so that's it our app is ready uh, i will delete this yeah so then now guys let's test the application so guys here is our application you can see so i just uh this is a text box uh, instead of that you can you just have to put the label okay so you can see if you go right you can see over here okay so once once it uh, collides uh here you can see it has been changed to one okay if you, if you want you can put a text box and you can make it as read only as well okay so you can see so you can do it like that it will it will choose random integers Okay, so guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'm going to meet you in my next video.